Okay, and like we have the line with x's and y's in it, we can also have the um, equation of a plane with x, y's and z's in it, because it's in three dimensions, so there's something going along in each of those directions. So if I start with my equation from above, but instead of x, I'm now going to write x in the i direction, plus y in the j direction, plus z in the k direction, dotted with my normal, I'm just going to call n1 in the i direction, plus n2 in the j direction, plus n3 in the k direction, equals a constant, and then just do the dot product. So I get n1x plus n2y plus n3z equals a constant. Okay, and they n1, n2, and n3 are determined by the normal that I'm working with. C is from above, it's the product dot product of any point on the plane and the normal, and x, y, and z are just the variables like in a line, y equals m x plus c. We now have x and y, but we also have a z because the plane is defined in three dimensions.